Do you say, well, what's the distance to the nearby galaxies? Until the mid-1920s, we didn't know whether there were other galaxies. We didn't know whether things like the Andromeda galaxy, these misty patches on the sky, were just gas clouds or nebula in our own galaxy. Um, it was Edwin Hubble who showed in uh, 1923 that, in fact, the Andromeda galaxy is a galaxy beyond our own. We now know it's two and a half million light years away. And then there was a... Um, a, a an astronomer, an American astronomer called Hen Henrietta Leavitt, noticed there's a particular kind of star called the Cepheid variable star, or Cepheid variable. But um, essentially, they're a star that have the property that they vary in brightness very regularly. And the period of variation of their brightness is related to their actual brightness. So once you can see these stars, and, and Levitt calibrated it by looking at these stars in the, in the Magellanic Cloud, which is a satellite gas galaxy of the Milky Way, so she knew they were all the same distance away. And she could see that they varied in brightness with different periods, and she could also see that they looked at different brightnesses. Uh, so once you know how bright something is, and you know how bright it looks, you know how far away it is, and what Hubble did was find one of these in the Andromeda galaxy, and he found it, and so he knew how bright it should be, and he knew how bright it looked, and he immediately knew that the Andromeda galaxy was way beyond the Milky Way. 